Package device and software wants you to see the new WX1 Easy Navigation, Easy Configuration user interface. When you first log in to the user interface, you immediately see the existing configuration for the 2.4 and the 5 GHz band. When you scroll down, you can see the current connections for the wireless network. The two main menu options you have available are your wireless and your LAN. If you click on your LAN menu option, you can update your IP address information as well as your gateway information based on your router settings. If you navigate to your wireless menu option, you have four main tabs. You have security profiles, configuration, guest network, and the current radio tab. Your radio tab allows you to select your country code, set your operation mode, whether it's an access point, repeater, or a bridge, you select your wireless mode based on the compatibility of your client devices that are connecting to your wireless network. You have your channel mode along with your channel selection you can set manually based on your scan button to show you your site survey. When you click on the security profiles tab, you can create up to 18 security profiles that can be applied to your SSID configurations. All you need to do is set your profile name, select the necessary encryption, if you have any legacy products, you might have a specific encryption required. Otherwise, we do recommend WPA2 PSK. Set your password. Once you made your updates, click on the Apply button. On the Configuration tab, this is where you can set up the SSID information for your 2.4 and your 5 GHz bands. Type in the wireless name. Select a security profile created from the Security Profiles tab. Now, if you have your audio video equipment on package zone two and you want the SSID to broadcast on that same zone, you can click on the circle and you can navigate to the package zone that the audio video equipment is set. Once you make that selection, you can continue with your update and then click on the apply button. If you want to create a separate guest network for those that need to connect to the wireless for internet access only, but not obtain access to the internal network, you can navigate to your guest network tab and create a wireless name, select a security profile, and you can change the IP address information as long as it does not match the router settings and click on the apply button. If you want to update your firmware for your WX1 access point, you can go to the firmware menu and you have two options. You can update locally or you can update from the cloud using the check update button. Once all of your changes have been completed, Please navigate to the WX1 circle on the top left hand side and you will be immediately redirected to your WX1 dashboard. With the WX1, it's easy navigation, easy configuration, user interface.